quality control. I'm Tim, he's Matt. Today we're going to be looking at some salsas. An interesting fact that I learned on Wikipedia is that in 1991, Mexican sauces overtook ketchup as the top selling condiment. Do you consider a salsa a condiment or a sauce? I consider it a dip. That's what I would do too because technically it's something you dip food into. Anyways, what brands are we trying today? Today we're trying Pace Picante, Tostitos, Trader Joe's Salsa Authentica, Herdez Salsa Casera. Shall we start off with the Salsa Casera? Sure, why not? A very thick, chunky salsa. Not a lot of heat. I like the texture of it though. Mm -hmm. It is a medium heat, but I really don't consider that medium heat, but I tend to like heat. And Trader Joe's is awfully thin. It's more like a sauce. Mm. I've got a bit more heat though. Mm. That's kind of pleasant. Mm -hmm. It is more like a sauce, though. Hmm. Tostitos is back to the chunks. You can see tomato, pepper, onion. Is that more of a vinegar taste and a real heat? Or is that more of a heat and not? And this has vinegar in it. They all have vinegar? This has got vinegar. I guess they all have vinegar. Yep. I don't see vinegar. Calcium chloride for firming. Interesting. Huh. I don't know. That tastes more vinegar to me. That had more of a heat kick. That's more of a vinegar kick. So the paste, you got nice chunks again. Hmm. That's got a little more heat, too. Yeah. I don't know. I think I like that one the least. Mm -hmm. It's more of a vinegar taste. That one's good. I think these two are the spicier ones. Man, I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards the pace. Does have enough heat for me? Mm -mm. It's too mild. That's supposed to be medium, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Medium salsa cassata. Man, yeah, it's down to these two. So why are you leaning towards paste a bit more? The heat. A little more heat for you? Mm -hmm. I like the chunk more. That is just way too runnery. I mean, you don't get... It like coats the chip. It's like yeah. a sauce, like you said. I mean, it just... Wants to drip. And nothing on it. You barely get any coating. Here, you actually get some nice residual chunk. Not when you were supposed to shake, Will. <laughs> it doesn't even look like there's that much chunks in it. Too shake, yeah. Well, I'd say we have a winner then. Pace Picante Sauce. Made in Paris, Texas, not New York City. Does well, that wrap it up for us? This one's kind of runnier. That's more like, a, yeah, it's just like... 
There's no fire. There's nothing. There's no real pizzazz. It's mm -hmm. just like, do they even use jalapeno, or do they use one without seeds? It says chili peppers, but not like jalapeno or nothing. And I thought this one actually said this one actually has jalapeno in it with onions and vinegar. Yellow. This just says yellow chili pepper, and our vinegar sauce has jalapeno in it too. I mean, it's thicker, too. Not bad, but it's just got too much vinegar taste, I think. Or is that just the first one? There's a sweetness in it, too. I don't know. It's, it's not my, bad. It's not my go-to, though. I think I'd rank it third, though, of these. Really? Yeah. It's tough because like these two are mm -hmm. right there, and that vinegar twang more than the heat. I think I'm leaning more towards that Trader Joe's. So many great and tasty salsas out there to try and enjoy. We just might do another round of four coming up soon. What about chips? You think chips will matter? And there's blue corn chips, there's white corn chips, we got yellow corn chips. There's all kinds of things to try. They're different good. Brands, different cooking techniques, baked, fried. So many more exciting and wonderful adventures awaiting us on quality control. Till next time. Mm -hmm.